All right, what is up, my friends? Bread of milk. I got to get the bread. Of they said snow. They said snow. That's right. We're playing snow. In modern, what is this deck? What what the hell are we doing here? Well, let me show you. Um, we're playing a snow deck in modern. This is a deck based around the snow mechanic, of course, from excuse me, Modern Horizons. We have uh, a lot of new snow cards, as well as some old snow cards, and we're we're getting paid off for playing snow cards. How so? Let's look at our payoffs to start. So, we have Abominable Tree Folk as our wing condition. This should be about a 7-7 seven, seven or 8-8 eight, eight trample with the Frost ability, which is pretty good. We have a Dead of Winter, perhaps one of the most powerful uh, snow effects in the format. All non-snow creatures, which is basically all of them, get minus X, minus X. Where X is the number of snow permanents you control. So very typically going to be a 3-mana, one-sided Wrath of God. Very good. Zell, our new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. We have Merit Lieges Slumber, 2-mana snow enchantment. Whenever any snow permanent enters the battlefield, you scry one. And then, in the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 10 or more snow permanents, these get sacrificed, and the Dark Depth 2020 Indestructible Flying Avatar token comes into play. So that's pretty good, too. We have On Thin Ice, which is a pretty good removal spell, also snow permanent. And then um, we're mixing together, also Astrolab, of course, is a great uh, color enabler. And uh, we're mixing together these, these new snow cards with some cool old snow cards. One of the best ones being Scrying Sheets. Just a land, tap two, if your top card is snow, it goes into your hand. So, over half this deck is snow. This is going to draw a card a lot of the time. So, a very powerful card. We also have Boreal Druid as an accelerator. Taps for snow mana, also a snow permanent. I think our mana base is good enough to play Boreal Druid. And then we have uh, four copies of Orin Viper. Orin Viper. Uh, pretty good card, honestly. Aphidian style card, draws cards, death touch. Pretty good. And I'm actually going to make a last minute substitution here. I'm actually going to make these birds into nobles. I don't have nobles, do I? Crap. Mm. Yeah, these birds should probably be noble hierarchs because pushing through your vipers as into a 2-4 seems really, really good. Uh, awkward. Um, we'll uh, do that real fast. Um, okay. Yeah. We'll do that right now. Thanks to my beautiful loan service from cardhoarder.com. I will have these noble hierarchs in a jiffy. Card Hoarder, of course, is a great place to get your shopping for cards. They also order a loan service simpler to mana traders. And uh, bam, easy as that. And you get delivered the cards like that. It's an unintentional plug, yes. Birds of Paradise are out, and we'll get that get those noble hierarchs in just a second it takes about a minute or two to, for the uh, things to show up so we're going to play some nobles to try and push through our uh, our vipers as well other cards we're playing here uh, we have it's a fairy time raveler a uh, very powerful modern card just very good in general um, can uh, you know bounce things reset spreading seas reset ice fang coddle and oh look it's already here that was fast and just powerful card in general obviously we're also playing Force of Negation. Um, pretty cool, because we have a few extra blue cards we don't necessarily need. Um, extraneous copies of Tree Folk or Merit Lege's Slumber can be uh, not necessary, and Force of Negation makes them really good. We're obviously playing a very fair deck here, and by playing Force of Negation, we can be a little more sound against the unfair decks in the format. Um, so we got Force of Negation, we got our Vipers, we got some Spreading Seas here as a anti-Tron sort of card, also good in fair matchups. Uh, we can bounce it with Teferi and do it again. Teferi can also bounce our Astrolabs, which is really cool. So it makes the minus three on Teferi into a draw two, which is awesome. And uh, deck just seems sweet. A bunch, bunch of Snow Basics. We have four Misties and four Prismatic Vistas to find us the right lands we need. Um, I guess actually adding the Nobles would be good too. And uh, deck seems super sweet. I've been looking forward to playing this deck for a while now. Um, I've had this deck sitting on my desktop since before the Pro Tour, but here we are. Cyborg's got Rest in Peace, Sony Silence, Raid Cards, uh, Negate, Plague Engineer, uh, third copy of Dead of Winter, 
couldn't help myself. One tile tracker, two night of autumn, and two damping sphere for Tron. Seems super sweet. Let's do it. They said snow. Just went four and one with a ridiculous colorless deck. If you missed that one, it'll be up on YouTube. Oh no, it's the right deck. They said snow. What's up, Perfy? I'd be happy to sign it for you. Uh, you want to win in a Jun metagame? Play Tron. And uh, I'd be happy to sign your mat at the next event uh, I'm at. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? Orin Viper. Yeah, Orin Viper is a super sweet card. I like Orin Viper a lot. Yeah, I'm pumped to play this deck. Just seems super fun. I'm all about it. All about it. Fun stream so far today. Uh, we played Goblins. We played the Mystic Forge, uh, like, Dice Factory deck. Also did my announcement uh, where I elaborated about how I'll be streaming more going forward and traveling less to events. If you missed that, it'll be up on YouTube. I'll also tweet about it. All right? Let's battle. Arena is free to play. Well, if our opponent's playing an unfair deck, uh, we're probably in trouble. If our opponent's playing, like, blue eye control or Jund, though, whew, I'm just gonna keep. We have Cantrip, Cantrip. Just do it. Just do it. Um, maybe just fetch for Forest, play the Astrolab. Snow covered Forest. Snow covered Forest. All right, well, didn't want to draw another land there, but that's okay. I think three or four Force Negation is good. I think Force Negation is really, really good. And I think that once Hogak settles down and gets banned, uh, I think Force is going to become one of the more powerful cards in the format. Not powerful, but more important cards in the format. Delta for Blood Crypt. Oh, God, we're getting gacked. Oh, we've played ten matches today without getting gacked once. It's been so nice. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. Hogak will be banned soon. Don't worry. Up oh, there it is. Uh, well, who would have thought? So they need to have two one drops here. There's one. Nope, never mind. That's a red one drop. No gacking now. All right, so we'll trade our Ice Fang with the uh, the Venge Vine. Once we sideboard and have four rest in peace, I feel okay about this. But game one's like pretty dumb. Yeah, we have three oh, other snow yeah. permanents. Ice Fang Coddle's really good. Oh my god. I mean, we kept a kind of loose hand, and uh, we've been punished pretty aptly. We've drawn mostly lands. No, that's not how Hogak works. They could have used Vengevine to convoke it. Which I probably should have, actually. I don't know why they didn't do that. But uh, Hogak requires black or green creatures to uh, cast... It won't matter, because we have five lands in our hand, but may get six lands in our hand. Why draw spells, you know? Why draw spells? What's up, Sec? How's it going? It's a really weird spot, because um, people... Hogak is legal. People don't want to buy into the deck, because they know it's going to be banned. And people don't want to play with the deck, because it's kind of like... Why would I play this deck? It's, it's going to be worthless in you know a short period of time. So like, it's a it's a weird format, and people who really want to win are just playing Hogak. But like, realistically, everyone's goal in Magic is not necessarily to win, you know. Um, so like, they get the Gak and Vengevine here. So like. A lot of people just don't want to play Hogak, but the ones that are are playing, it just, I don't know, just a weird place. 
things are always really weird when like something's very clearly going to get banned, but it isn't banned yet. You're in this weird like limbo state. It's pretty annoying. No, I don't think there's any doubt at all that it's going to be banned. Wizards is just deciding if they want to do it an emergency ban or wait for the next ban period. Not sure what this needs to be. I guess the the abomination, the the, the snowman would be okay. <laughs> wow. So um, we have a hundred thousand lands. All right. All right. It was not a great keep, but drawing five lands out of like six cards is definitely not was not really where we were at. All right. Yeah. Not a good start. Not a good start. Um, bring in rest in peace. Bring in plague engineer. No way it's been 17 months. No way. 17 month resub. Whiskey Dingo, thanks for uh, resub. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to cut these forces. I guess force can... I mean, force can't stop them killing my rest in peace on my turn. They don't necessarily know that I have force, though. Um, I don't think... Hmm. I actually like the tree folks a lot. I think. Um, Merit Lege's Slumber. I mean, they probably can't beat the 2020. We probably can't get it in play fast enough. Uh, maybe we cut, like... I'd like to keep some number of these, I think. And then some number of these, too. Let's cut the Slumbers. Oh, I guess Spreading Seas is bad, too, right? But now we have no blue cards for force, so I guess the force is just gonna go. We have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You only have fourteen blue cards. All right, force is just bad. Whatever, it's fine. Get rid of the forces. Um, maybe we'll keep the slumbers. I guess spreading seas is effectively a stone rain against them, right? It's not the end of the world. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave these in. We'll leave in uh, three of these. We'll cut one of these to fairies. Yeah, let's try this. We're gonna be mulliganing pretty hard for rest in peace, so. If they were gonna emergency ban Hogak before the GP, they probably would have done it today. So, all right. Uh, perfect. I suppose man is a little bit awkward. Um, we might need to fetch a dual land because the vistas are only black source. And we also need a white source and a green source and a blue source. So we might need to get a breeding. Actually, I don't have breeding pool. That's fine. I can, I can get a temple garden. See, so yeah, we'll open on temple garden. I think it's open on forest. No, I can't get a blue. Yeah. All right. Temple Garden it is. Man is obviously a little awkward in uh, post board games. We have all these colors in, but certainly very doable. No, no GPs for me. As I, as I said earlier, I am traveling far less to tournaments going forward. Um, I'll be staying home and streaming a lot more. I made that announcement uh, a few weeks ago, and then I did a elaboration on the announcement today on stream in about a 15-minute announcement segment. That'll be on YouTube if you missed it. So go look for that. That's a really good draw, actually. Now we have no mana problems at all. Boom shakalaka.
tree folk into tree folk. Hell yeah, Ross, that's like sweet. I want to do everything. I want to plague engineer before they can play another creature. I want to spreading seize their land, and I want to cast tree folks to threaten them. Oh no, Wookie Bender. Yeah, I actually want to do everything here. Um. Huh. I don't care if a counterfeit gets to be a 2 2. Yeah, who cares? Just cast stupid tree folk. They said snow! I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get the bread and milk. You draw a lamb, we'll go seize Plague Engineer. If you don't draw a lamb, we'll just keep playing Tree Folks till we die. I could have like Nature's Claim here, I guess. That would kind of stink a little bit, but. Alright. So now they have to like rebuild everything. That's funny, actually, because tapping the Karen Feeder makes it, hard makes it harder for them to cast Hogak. That's actually hilarious. They hit Vengevine Neonate Delta. Bread and milk is not it's from a YouTube video. I showed it at the very start of the the uh, segment. Just type in bread or they said snow into uh, into YouTube. It's very funny. If you you got to be like a northeaster to really get it because it's people when people when there's a snowstorm coming coming people get all like oh my god I got to get the bread and milk and they go crazy. It's just like a play on that. It's pretty funny. This whole guy like is so dumb. It's turn three. They stole the Venge vine. And did everything through our rest in peace. Ice Fang. Yeah, just give me the old tree folk skis. You think your Hogak deck is powerful? Wait till you see Indomitable Tree Folk action. Alright? Why is it always bread and milk? Because those are the things you cannot live without. Like, God forbid the power goes out and you get snowed in for two days and don't have bread or milk, you'll die. They're the, it's like water, oxygen, sleep, and bread and milk. Hmm, good block. Good block. What if you're lactose intolerant? I don't know. They sacked it too. It's got trample, yo. All right, now what? I'm not gonna lie, the tree folks actually pretty good. <laughs> like six six trample with taps and thing. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, excuse me. Assassin's trophy. One of my tree folks. Mm. Well. Still got the 6-6. Six, six. This is the problem with this Hogak deck, is that it's so easy for it to function and still have interactive cards. Like, Dredge needs, like, lands, a Dredge card, an Enabler, and a Nature's Claim to beat a, a Leyline, or a Rest in Peace. And if you have, don't have one of those pieces, the deck doesn't function. The Hogak deck, it just functions no matter what. It's always functioning. Alright, um... Give me. Let's start here. 
They're just like dead. Unless they have another assassin's trophy. That would suck. Noble Hierarch? Alright. Um. I, mean, I guess we'll find out if they have Assassin's Trophy or not. They have Nature's Claim? But they're dead. Got a Fatal Push, I guess? Huh. We open this game on turn two, uh, on turn two, uh, what's it called? Rest in peace. Correct. Karen Feeder can't block. So we're not going to play the uh, Noble Hierarch. We're going to attack with the two creatures we have and see what happens. And they're going to die. All right, cool. Boo, Hogak. There's no merit to having a negate against uh, their nature's clans and stuff, is there? Probably not. Spreading Seas does seem a lot worse in the draw. Um, but I don't know what else I'd want, honestly. Like, we could play Force of Negation, but honestly, we're, we're super light on blue cards we cut, because we cut the... Spreading Seas and the Slumbers and the Teferi and stuff. I'm just going to leave it like this. So we, don't have enough, we don't have enough blue cards. If you, could, you cut the Seas, and have enough blue cards. So. What's more evil, Hogak or KCI? Probably KCI, but more so because the gameplay experience is so miserable. Like, Hogak just kills you. You know? All right, this hand's like pretty. Yeah, we can't keep this. This hand's pretty bad. Just gonna mulligan for our rest in peace, I guess. Oh god. Oh god. We're gonna keep. Gonna ship the scrying sheets, and I guess the heath. I think we're in trouble. Think we're in trouble, folks. Yeah, rest of me, some of the draws isn't even good. So, thought sees. Yeah, like the ability of Hogak to play real cards is what makes the deck just far too good. I mean, now we're, just, we're there's no way we ever win this game. I don't know why they're bringing Thoughtseize, honestly. Like, what the hell's Thoughtseize do against us? I guess when we mulligan to five, it's really good, but, like, I think you want to just focus on things that kill Rest in Peace, right? Like, why bring in... Why do you want a Thoughtseize? Thoughtseize seems good against decks playing cards like Ravenous Trap or whatever, or decks playing things that Hogak can't interact with. We're just playing freaking Snow Creatures, you know? This man's really slow now. That's good. That was a terrible, terrible mill. They they bricked on a land. This is actually all right. So you're telling me there's a chance, all right? Let's have Lobmancer. We just started playing against the GAC. That's a tilt. I'd be really good if we can cast it. Um. So. I would like to draw an Astrolab to cast Plague Engineer next turn. I guess we can just cast it anyway. I guess we'll just attack. You missed the Charge Counters deck? You missed a wacky one. Alright. Uh, it'll, it'll be up on YouTube. You're a sub. You can go watch the VOD if you want to, too. But it was pretty fun. Definitely a weird deck. 
Yeah, if this is the Birds of Paradise, it would be pretty good. Still didn't hit anything relevant, but now they can gack from their hand. Please no gack, please no gack, please no... <gasps> Unfortunately, they have a human warrior, a zombie, and a satyr. So I'm not even sure what we name, but... It's probably still a zombie, I guess. It's going to mill them three cards, but... Let's see what we draw. Oh, I was just going to say, I'd much rather just draw a dominable tree folk and win the game anyway. You'll love to see it. We're going to win. You'll love to see it. Uh, yeah, I get the old Swampski. You love to see it. Make me a deck for October? What do you mean, Power? Uh, Goblin went 2-3, went but it was a really soft 2-3. Uh, we lost to Boggles. We lost some pretty insane Mono Red Phoenix hands. And then I misclicked an attack step twice in Game 3 against Tron. You probably would have won. Alright, there's a Gak, but they are at 9 life, and we're still at 17. Discard Thug Neonate. Alright, so just a Gak versus the world here. We draw a second Tree Folk, uh, we win. And otherwise, we're just racing. And we can get a few more Snowlands in play. We can just block the, the Gak anyway. So, big draw step here. Not not a big draw step, but... All right, so we'll fire in with the Ice Fang, and we'll... We're going to play the Plague Engineer. I think we're going to name... I don't think I want to name Zombie. Um... Oh, power. Um, not yet. We're still... I still... Nicole and I are trying to get a house and stuff, and it's possible I move in the next, like, week or two. So, we'll we'll do all that stuff soon. Don't worry. I talked, I talked, I talked about that in the announcement video. Um, like, I don't want them to mill cards, even though... Even though Zombie's the best name. I guess Karen Feeder and Gravecrawler don't matter, because they're in a blocking scenario, so... Yeah, I guess human works. Human kills thug and means a neonate can't do anything too. Avatar doesn't matter. We can block the Kogak or we can just take the take the eight. They can't they can't really attack, honestly. I don't think I'm human. And now they have to put a creature on top. Maybe that was a mistake, because now that now they put the Wayfinder on top. Yeah, actually that might have been wrong. You're getting carrion feeder? Uh, okay. I mean, like, it's kind of hard for them to attack, because we're at 17 and they're at 7. We have a 6-6 six, six trample, we have a flyer, we have exalted going on, we have more f snow permanents to play. Another gak, which is fine. I think they can attack and then gack again, but it's not really that bad. Bloodgast? Yeah, I mean, they don't have any Bloodgast yet. So they can attack with this gack and then play a new gack. Which is fine. I mean, we're, we're one snow permanent away from trading with gack. If we, if we, if we can, like, draw running Astrolabs, we could just, um... We can actually make the snowman bigger than the Gak, which would be really cool. Hmm. 
Okay, I said F6, let's go. They're also tapping two blockers here. I'm sorry, one blocker, right? Okay, never mind. So, and another tree folk wins the game. We have all the five this game, folks, and we have zero graveyard hate the entire game. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, they have a Venge Vine now, too. That's kind of gross. Big draw step. It's not bad. Um, they're at seven. So if we attack with the Tree Folk, they have to block with the Hogak. We attack with the Ice Fang for two. I think I want the Hogak dead. Then they just recast it, but then it's like kind of hard for them to attack. Yeah, maybe we just attack with the Kotal. We also have the threat of Tree Folk attacking. Hmm. I know Engineer's Death Touch doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter right now. Uh, yeah, I think we force a trade with the Hogak. They have two cards. They can like dredge Thug and play that and Hogak and get Vengevine back. Yeah, I think it just like it's the Ice Fang. We'll see how they attack, um, because it's hard for them, like they're going to 5 here, and we'll see what they do. They attack with the Gak, we can just block with like a Viper and just take 5 and go to 3 I think. I did it. Pizza bagels? Pizza bagels. They're gluten free. I don't know folks, you guys try these gluten free pizza bagels? Don't they look good? Gluten-free homemade pizza good. bagels. They smell good. Yeah, I mean, because all that really matters is the sauce and the cheese. You can literally put a good sauce and good cheese on cardboard. and. I do like cardboard. Cardboard mm. is good. I mean, it's pretty much good. Kinda... It's a trap! Do it. Hi, friends. And Nicole's asking me to eat it on stream, too. So she's, like, not afraid of, like, the of me gag. vomiting and everyone yeah. laughing at well, her. I got past the... John said he liked them, but, you know, John hasn't had a bagel bite in, what like, a year. Do? Gogari thug putting insolent neonate on top of their grave uh, top, top of their library. Why would they do that? I don't, I don't know. What are they doing? Ah, fresh meat. All right. I mean, I think we just block with the the viper here. Take five. Go to three. And they have to recast the gak. And they got a venge vine too, but. I'm gonna eat it. Just give me a second, all right? God. You know how annoying chat is? It's actually unbelievable how annoying they are. Um, I block with Tree Folk and take nothing. Do you say chat instead of me? Is chat more annoying than I am? No. Well, you should block with something, because you don't want to die. So. I don't know if this is right or not. That's it's true. I, I could block with the Engineer, because then coward. a Snowland might be better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I mean, if they have removal, I'm dead. Whatever. Like the game's too close to play our removal. They're just gonna recast the Hogak anyway. They get back a Venge Vine. We just draw a damn Tree Folk. Saying Goomba. Or Teferi. Got up to some Goombas once. <laughs> 
Jeff's just trying to play magic, and there's like 500 people trying to get him to eat a bagel bite. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty great. Hogak's definitely getting banned, yes. All right. It's a fairy or tree folk. Or. Rest of these is fine, too, I guess. Or snow covered island. Now we might be in trouble. I guess if I block, it doesn't really matter. No, if I block with the plague engineer, then my then my tree folk would be a it'd be a nine nine. That might have been better. I'd be at two though. Yeah, I think we're still in pretty big trouble here. I'm gonna play this is bad. This used to be a bagel stream. Alright. Give me a bagel bite. You gotta All listen to Twitch right. chat. Give me the bagel you bite. Can't not Give me the microphone. No, they can hear me now. Everyone wants to hear you enjoy it. They're gluten free. <laughs> Click over here, please. It'll go. Okay. Okay. I go back to back, back to mute the mic so I can eat. Oh god. You're taking a second bite? No nap. Wait, no. Mukbang. It wasn't bad. It's like, it's like a little gluten free, but it was good. If you put enough sauce and cheese, it is true. On it. The cheese and sauce are very good, so like you don't really, don't really notice that. It was good. Yay! Everyone loves the sounds. I know. John can have bagel bites now. What um? Hold great. on. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Let me guess. It was poison, right? <laughs> what are they doing? They hit three more Avenge Vines? What What happened? I think you're dead. When did that happen? I looked away for half a second. And they, have, they have all four Avenge Vines in their graveyard. And they recast the other Avenge Vine and bring the, I mean, the whole gack and then... All right, I guess we're dead. I mean, you know, they have multiple daggers. All right, yeah, I mean, we lose. It's all, it's all your uh, bagel bites. Yeah, we shouldn't eat, shouldn't eat the bagel bites. Shouldn't have eaten the bagel bites. The gluten-free bagel. Bites. I mean, considering we, we mulled to five this game and drew six lands and drew zero graveyard hate cards, wasn't that bad, you know? What the bagel bite? No, uh, the game. Yeah, they have five. That, that was that was insane. All right. Should never have eaten the bagel. Hmm. Yep. All four bench vines. Oh, no, John's here too. Everyone's no, John's here. here. Everybody's here for yep. the gluten-free bagel bites. Oh, that sucked. If um, it had gluten, they wouldn't have found the other bench vines. All right, our next awesome. Let's keep battling. That's Round two. Said they said snow. They said snow. They said snow. I'm trying to have fun in modern, and what happens? I bread. What happens? You get gacked. You get gacked. Gacking us. The gack attack. Very rude. Very rude. Let's try again. Who cares about a loss to Gak? That's what I'm saying. All right, uh, keep. We got labs. We got vipers. We're ready to go. Um, yeah. Can we get an island to make him think we're playing like the Urza deck? But who cares? Let's get it first. Get this viper online. Draw some cards. Astro Lab. Hey, 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 here's my buddy. Modern staple. Steam vents, huh? I suppose the card Lightning Bolt is good against our uh, our Orin Viper. Now 
This deck does want one of each duel, right? We have one Hollow Fountain and one Temple Garden, and that is it. Everything else is a Snowland. Discard Arclight Mountain. Seems like a pretty bad hand. Spreading Seas? I mean, it is a form of interaction, I suppose. And it still draws a card? Yeah, I guess so. Hello, Magic Online. Oh, the Viper. Sleight of Hand. Okay. I mean, Viper's good. They're not going to have a good answer to Tree Folk, right? It's just like a big, huge, unboltable thing. Next turn we get to go Viper. The next turn we get to go... Tree Folk, then Viper Lab. This folks, so this thing's gonna be monstrous. Don't discard two more Phoenixes, please. Zero Phoenixes. Excellent. You'll love to see it. I don't like that my my Viper's getting bolted here. Merit Liege's Slumber. Is it a horror token? No. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not gonna play for that. Hall of Fountain's kind of cramping my style a little bit. Alright, this thing's obviously getting bolted, but whatever. Alright, what's this big turn three here? The old finger dinger. Alright. It's kind of cute because if we tap down the thing in the ice, even if they flip it, they can't attack us with it, which is pretty important. Alright, we're, we're viping it up here. Alright, Viper's coming in. No way! First time. Alright, there's your bolt. Lame. Lame. And I think we're going to Tree Folk here. I don't want to take 7 off this thing. If they have a good uh, follow-up. If they bounce the Tree Folk, whatever. Yeah. It's an Indomitable Tree Folk. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Does transforming untap thing in the ice? No. All it does is change the state of the card. Flips it. So looting, discarding, finale, and surgical. That's not a very good looting. I guess I can't cast finale because of our beautiful spreading seas. You go top, bottom, and they have sleight of hand. Sure, bounce our tree folk. And now we get to play Tree Folk again. It's currently a 4-4. Four, four. I want to draw a basic island. A snow island. Let's be, let's be real here. One basic snow island. Eh, close enough. Um, all right. So... We get Tree Folk and Astrolab. So there's a six, that's seven. It'd be a seven, seven. That's not big enough. All right, let's draw a card first. Glad I tuned in just in time for this snow jank XD. Sark in the bed. Man, there's a lot of Vipers. It's all four Vipers so far. Sark, what's up, my friend? Welcome back. 17 month resub. That's awesome. So I would like to tag the Arclight Phoenix, but we can't do that, so. All right, we'll just take some damage in the Arclight Phoenix. Too many Vipers. Too many Vipers. If we had one more Snow Permanent in play, and this could be an 8-8, I wouldn't have a problem 
tapping down the Phoenix, but we have five, four. Yeah, this was a was a snow. Maybe maybe like you just don't want to play any duels. You just want to be all basic lands. Maybe playing the uh, the one or two duels isn't worth it. This is, uh, triggers on the upkeep. We have two, four, six, seven right now. It's eight, nine. You're pretty close to flipping the slumber. Definitely drawing all four vipers in our top eighteen cards against the lightning bolt deck was not not ideal. But they have missed on their phoenixes pretty hard, so we can't really complain too much. All right, that puts us to seven. Hmm. Attack and go Viper Viper. Actually, we would we would land Viper Viper attack attack for nine. That's pretty good. Slumber seems too slow to matter. We could go Viper Slumber, but then the thing is that they can kill my Viper. They just kill me, which sucks. They've only cast one bolt so far, so it's very likely they have at least one more. Um. So that concerns me greatly. They might just have two bolts in hand and kill us anyway, which sucks. Um, I think we're just Viper Viper attack for a million. Hope Tree Folk's good enough. All right, 10 ball, corner pocket. Don't kill me. They have two bolts, we're dead. That's a good start. It's a good start. They said snow. Patiently waiting to die. Magmatic cycle. All right. That's tough. I mean, like, we needed some actual interaction. We just drew four vipers. If we drew, like, two vipers and, like, a kill spell or it's a fairy or any other interactive element, uh, we probably would have won that game. But, c'est la vie. Of course, the fairy is very good against Aria Flame, too. Um, what do we want? Maybe we don't want Dead of Winter. Um, we want some number of rest in peace. Probably not like a million of them, Maybe like two or three. Um, how many force negations do I want? I don't think I want any, honestly. I guess spreading seeds is bad too. Oh man, not the best matchup. Not that you want like one or two, Ross. I mean, want we want a few. I think that we handle the thing in the ice part of their deck pretty well, and we also handle Aria decently well too. Bringing like something like this, and like cut the forces and the spreading seas. Um, it's possible damping spheres also fine against them. I don't know if I want to go that deep though. Like, Spreading Seas is actively pretty bad. This is 59. Yeah, I kind of like the Sphere. I'm going to bring these, take these out, and bring in the one tracker, too. Don't got to sell me on, on Tyler's tracker, you know? It's an easy one. All right, so let's try this. Like, I think that um, Rest in Peace is better than all of these cards. 
The second one's pretty redundant. I mean, maybe he negates better than rest in peace, but I don't think so. Ross, thoughts on the one negate over the third rest in peace? Play engineer is pretty bad. It's a two-two death touch for three. It's a um, a dagger tongue basilisk or whatever. Both suck. Yeah, I mean like they're not great, but obviously you need to play something. So, all right, uh, we're gonna do this. Why am I not mainboarding five tower tracker? It's not snow, all right. I just snuck. I snuck a tracker to my snowboard. They said snow. Thanks for following. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This hand's like kind of awkward, but like kind of fine, too. The second slumber is really bad, but Tree Folk's good. Thin Ice is good. Yeah, just keep, whatever. We need Karn, the great Snow Raider. That lets us tutor snow cards out of our sideboard. How about Frosty, the Planeswalker? Frosty, the Planeswalker. Definitely hate the second copy of Slumber, obviously, but... Scrying one every turn is pretty good, you know? a lot of scries. How did you get here? Basically a six card hand, but they go bottom, bottom. Mm. Uh, sure. I think Glacier Revelation is too slow. Three mana draw three for three mana is not good. Are they considering forcing that? That'd been sweet. Um, Boreal Druid? Chlorophyll. More like Borophyll. Let's bottom it. Alright, how about... Alright, thinking the ice is cool. I like that. Oh, look who's back. The old Viper, eh? I mean, they just burned a Metamorphose. It's not, like, super likely they can flip this next turn, but they obviously possibly can. I'm just gonna slow down here a bit. Just get our planes. Scry one. Heath? Eh, bottom. And then we'll thin ice. Does it matter what it goes on? I don't think so. I mean, ice side golem. It just does not make sense with, with what the deck is trying to do. It's just a two-two for for one. You know, this deck does not want to play Isamaru in it. Eh, bottom. We can do better. We could play this for just two scry triggers, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, we get the tree folk next turn, it's freaking big. And they can't really kill big things. It's going to be a 6-6, six, six, which is bigger than any of their removal spells, so... Flavor ruling on using on thin ice on thing in the ice. I'm not a flavor judge. You have to call a flavor judge, right? That's not my not my department. A thing on thin ice. I like it. Alright, how many Phoenixes do they have? Just one? That's fine by me. As long as it's not two, you know? I said F6, God. Hmm. 
get a forest here. Scry bottom. The old 7-7. Seven, seven. Feels good. Scrying sheets? That one I can kind of buy. Uh, we can sheets and ice fang. Yeah, I'll keep it on top. I'll buy that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Nice tempo swing here of tapping their flyer and making a 7-7 seven, seven trample. Feels pretty good. Another thinger in the ice, sure. That makes things a little scarier. I mean, Ice Fang is really getting its thing in the ice. It's kind of cool. Um, I think we just scrying sheets, top card, bottom. I think we just slam a jamma here. Currently have eight snow permanents. This is nine and ten. I mean, the, obviously the thing is thing in the ice. Flip the thing on it, but. I'm not back in five minutes. Just wait longer. So there you go. Take a lot then to be able to uh, attack us for ten next turn. So yeah, they, they got to kill the Ice Fang too. Is there a length of a charge counter list? Watch it on YouTube. It's not a May, you have to do it. Okay. Right. They have a lot of cards in their hand. It's definitely, definitely a thing. This thing should be a horror. Like, look at it. That is not a normal tree folk. All right. Another thing in the ice. Oh, I. Right. You have to get a. About to get pretty big here. So draw, I probably should scribe first, track to the bottom, scrying sheets, rest in peace, that's not great. Um, so I'd like to leave mana open so I can recast the Ice Fang if they are able to attack us, um, but also want to play stuff too. Not drawing a, um, a what's it called? It's kind of annoying. It's a fairy, sure. Uh, Astrolab thing. So let's just get busy with our ten ten here. They get a block with one of the things. We'll get to rest in peace and say go. Excuse me. We're also at a. Uh, At ten permanence for Merit Lege's slumber. I think we just leave the mana up to recast Ice Fangs. They can't like cheese us out with a kill. They could obviously like bolt. The Ice Fang is one of their spells or something, but... Yeah, this thing's definitely a horror. This thing's freaky looking. Yeah, that's a big tilt. Alright, that does not bode great for us. But, at least it wasn't to our face. There are two. Alright. 
I mean, no, our top card is Teferi. Maybe I should have not topped the Teferi. So, well, I guess that's good. The Phoenix goes away. That's actually really good. I, I didn't consider that. I forgot that the rest in peace, the Phoenix was not going to be able to come back. So, this is actually pretty good for us, I think, then. Because they only have one threat. We could honestly just Teferi and then Viper, maybe. And set up for Slumber next turn. And then and if we draw a land, we can cast the, the Tree Folk. I guess Tree Folk's just lethal next turn, right? We should probably just Tree Folk. Um, like, what can they do if we Tree Folk? Probably nothing. Yeah, just guess Tree Folk. Tree Folk, way too powerful. Instant concession. Instant. All right, we're one and one. We're X and Hogak at the moment. X and Hogak. Never mind, that was game two. I got ahead of myself. Fresh meat. Yes, thank you. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed, just hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. I am an idiot. Thanks for watching me on, on, the, on the television. Appreciate it. Hubris. Hubris. Um, there's no lands in my hand. This hand's fine. Uh, I don't like that we drew both duels. That really blows, actually, but... I mean, just ship a land here. We ship one of the duels. Keep Temple Garden... Get an island off this. Yeah, I'm going to ship one of the duels. The duel lands are pretty bad. That was the Butcher from Diablo 1, yes. Plays. Thanks for following everyone. Y'all great. At the old finger dinger, they do. Well, we got both sides covered. We have the the graveyard covered, and we have the thing on the ice side covered. So perfect. Noblest of dorks, two month resub. Welcome back, my friend. That that's the important month. Month number two it means you chose to come back, and I appreciate that very very much. Thank you so much, my friend. You all great. I love you. I always have. I always will. All right, all things considered. So Tree Folk would be a 4-4 four, four if I played it next turn, which is safely out of bolt range. I think we're gonna run it. This deck is gas, honestly. Scry goes bottom, bottom. We brought in the night. Night kills Arya Flame. Can gain some life here and there. Just better than like the cards we had we took out. They thought scoured us. Oh man, these cards are good. Astrolab, Ice Fang. The Viper. Alright, yeah, redemption tree folk here. Not the best tree folk ever, but it's pretty good. You got it, friend. Do your thing, all right? Do your thing. No. Oh, if William Wallace were here, he'd destroy the Englishman with bolts of lightning from his arse. I am William Wallace, and I see here a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. Yeah, I don't know, Ross, this recipe's been pretty good. Two Arclight Phoenixes in the shitter. You'll love to see it. 
You'll love to see it. Trefo clowning people. 2-0, and 2-1, 2-0 oh, and Hogak. No hubris, no hubris this time. I'm sorry, 1-1. One one. I don't even know what, what anything is anymore. I can't count. I have no awareness. Just here, playing Magic. Everyone check out CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs, CoolStuffInc.com. My articles, that's right. My videos today, Video Monday, Article Friday, today's video. Reanimating Dracusef to burn an eight standard. Super fun deck, check it out, Soltai Reanimator. CoolStuffInc.com, and of course check out all my Goblin content from earlier uh, last week. Goblins till the end of time, all right? Just Goblin content forever. All your questions are here. Uh, playing Goblins, Cyborg Guide, it's all here. Just go check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Also, use promo code Jim10, sorry, Jim5, for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, seen better Boreal Druids, but it sounds good. Do I think Reanimator has a real metagame spot post-rotation? No idea. Honestly, I haven't thought about post-rotation at all. There are certainly hate cards available if, if it is too good. But, alright. I mean... Ice Fang Kyle should be really good against Eldrazi, right? I would think that Reanimator is very good, very good, good against Scape Shift, actually. Because you fly over all the tokens. Alright, so Force is pretty good. It's a Karn and Chalice and stuff. Um... Huh. How well do they deal with a 2020? Probably not very well at all, right? I can break down for that. Down like a clown, Charlie Brown. Oh my god. So Tree Folk is really good against them, but... We kind of need lands, so I think we're going to bottom. Yeah. We have four tree folk for a reason, you know? Blast zone? Alright. It's been a weird game so far. They're just not doing anything. Uh... I mean, Blast Zone for one is kind of annoying. We get to scry and draw here, though, so we can try and find a uh, another land. So we're going to uh, scry first, then draw. Land? No. Land? Yes. Um, and then I guess we're not going to play any one drops, because the old Blast Zone here is... A little on the annoying side. We'll just say go. We'll just Ice Fang and step. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Pretty pretty weird looking hand, honestly. Oh, they're going to they're gonna blast someone up to two? They're really that scared of Merit Legion's slumber? Oh, I like that. I mean, now I'm less interested in playing Ice Fang, but... I mean, I, I, Ice, Game, Ice Fang cantripping to kill for land sounds fine. Oh god, here we go. It's a fairy too. It's fairy's nice. Right. Scry says force negation bottom. Ice Fang. Eldrazi Tron just followed us. That's good. <laughs> and uh, we want to scry first. Top card is a land. I'm cool with that. Yes, please. Scrying Sheets is also pretty good. Um, most things happening here I'm fairly uh, happy with. Um, this is eight permanents. We're pretty close to slumbering too. Like they're probably gonna pop pop this blast zone. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Top card is a scrying sheet, so that is a live card if I activate my scrying sheets. Um, question becomes, do we even need that? Or we just look for something better? We just look for something better, honestly. I don't think second scrying sheets is really worth a card at this point. Um, I think we just Noble Hierarch and attack for... I guess we could, um, we could Boreal Druid. Actually, no, yeah, what's, what's, let's attack for one. And then we'll Boreal Druid and set up for Slumber to go off next upskeep and make them use it. Alright, they're doing, they're doing it now, never mind. Alright. So, that kills those two things. And now I can, like, Teferi and play a one drop. Or... Ice Fang. I like the Fairy One Drop. Well, plus the Fairy too, so they have a Smasher. We can at least chump block and put the Fairy to one, I guess. And then I guess I want Noble. So you can Ice Fang, Force Negation if we have to. It's very next turn gets to bounce Astrolab, replay it, which is pretty cool. Draw a couple cards. Ghost Quarter on Scrying Sheets is cute. Mines, what are they doing? Man, their hand must be really weird. Like all this dust and other like really big awkward things. Kinda wish we had the uh, second scrying sheets back. We bottomed it. Maybe that was wrong. Probably need to hold. I mean, we also just hard cast force here, so like relic, sure. We're not in a huge rush to. Uh, I mean, it's not like we need the ice fang Kyle for the force. We can just hard cast at this point because it's just been a million turns already and nothing's happened. Sure. Right, let's see what happens. Swamp. Okay. I think I'm down with uh, minusing on an Astrolab and just drawing two cards. Alright. And just play Replay Lab. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, and then I think we just play another Noble, I guess? This is a really weird game, I'm not going to lie. Really, really strange game. Play the Noble. Play the Scrying Sheets. Let's act for two with the Noble and just say go with Force Negation up. Force Negation and Ice Fang up. I guess I could have, I should have left up Scrying Sheets, Scrying Sheets, because I have the mana for uh, Force or Coddle with the Astro Lab, and now they can Ghost Quarter my Scrying Sheets and screw up my stuff. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. It's fine, though. Astro Lab is so good. This is a freaking magic card. Just so much value for one mana. It's unreal. All right, what's up, Bonnet? I mean, you got a Reality Smasher? Thought not Seer. All right, I think we're going to Ice Fang in response. I want this thing in play. Sucks to draw cards as a Thought Not Seer, but the 1-1 one -one Death Toucher is real good against Thought Not Seer. Astrolab, sure. All right, so our force is gone. And we have, now we have a bunch of mana and double scrying sheets, which is pretty good, so. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> we 
Where my snowman at? I feel like they have all his dust. Uh, honestly, that's my initial impression. Chlorophyll, more like barfill. All right. Um. I mean, we're not really doing much here, I guess. This is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. It's funny we, we were we were kind of mad screwed earlier, really, which is kind of the funny part. But uh, I guess I want to misty rainforest because I can shuffle away a bad card on top. I'm not attacking. We're just saying go. We have double scrying sheet activation. I think we're rebuilding pretty well off of a um, an all is dust, so I'm not super worried about it. Yeah, okay. So So we lose that stuff. We had to start sheeting. Top card is Misty Rainforest. Smart on us for leaving a fetch land in play. For the love of God, just say okay. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this sheet. <laughs> Holy sheet. Uh, and now we're going to get just forest. Dead of Winter plays. Not a snow card, unfortunately, but it plays. Ah, uh, that's true. I was, I was still floating the mana, but you're right. We, we should have not activated the sheets and see if they not attack and do a, a Ice Fang Coddle. That's fair. You're correct. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Um... We have one activation and we have a Heath. Yeah, this is fine. So we just do we wait? Nah, a Smasher would be pretty bad. I don't think taking nine is acceptable. Just just draw a card here too. So place. Um. Oh crap. God. The mana system on Magic On is so bad, it's unbelievable. Alright, make a green. Use that. Make a green. Use that. Cast this. Viper. What the hell is that? Garage! <laughs> Thanks for following everyone. Uh Vog deck texture uh ten bucks? Yeah, ten bucks. 10 bucks for five minutes live on stream. Yeah, snakes are really good against them, so they can't lattice us yet or anything, so. Anyone who complained about auto tap in arena was an idiot. So. Auto trapper screwed me again. No, you screwed yourself because you didn't take two seconds to look at what it was gonna tap for you. Ballista on two. All right. So they're not tapping these remaining two. That's weird. Spatial contortion. Right. Catch up fights. Five month reset. Welcome back. Oh, there he is. There's the boom boom. Um, four, two, one. Yeah, we're not gonna play the druid. We're just gonna play the old tree folk. Casual ten ten boom boom. I don't want to upkeep sheets. I don't think. Cause I'm happy to draw a snow card, right? 
I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Now what? Car and the Great Creator. It does turn my labs off, but that's fine, I guess. I guess if they have Ensnaring Bridge, we're in trouble. Like land plus bridge. You probably can't win in that case, because then they have enough time to get Lattice, too. They made Mindstone into a creature. I was playing this game really, really weirdly. I don't. Maybe they have two dismembers in their hand or something. What? I don't understand what they're doing. They're either really, really bad or really, really good. That's my assessment here. All right. Boreal Druid? Sure. Um, there's no black snow cards since... Snow-covered plains... Actually, out of snow lands to fetch for Heath, but that's okay. So minus five, minus minus ten, minus ten is still enough to kill this thing. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play another druid. Actually, they could have two dismembers. I can't think of anything else they could have with how they how they played this game so far. It's just very very weird. Two dismembers is the only thing I can think of. I guess I can kill this thing anyway. All right, whatever, just attack. What is going on? I don't understand. None of this makes sense at all. I don't get it. They forgot about Trample? I guess. That might have been it. This card's a freaking house. Oh no, not Matter or Shaper. Anything but Matter or Shaper. Oh man, Boreal Druid. So sad. So sad. Quit playing games with my mind. With my mind. Oops. I mean, we have like three lands left, it feels like. All right, here we go. Big draw. It's a fairy time raveler. You love to see it. Um, I can't bounce an astrolab and play it though because they have a, a chalice in play. Rude. Uh, all right. Um, what is going on here? They conceded. Okay, good. That that, that was the, that was the tipping point. Losing their matter of shaper was the end. That was the end. Yeah, the best feeling in the entire world when they when they, they, they natural tron on you and they go matter of shaper matter of shaper go. Nothing feels better than that. All right, so we're gonna bring in dead of winter. Um, I don't think we want damping sphere against them. I want night of autumn, tireless tracker. And then I want to cut some of the the one drops. 
So Chalice isn't as bad. We can actually, I guess we have two Knight of Autumn to kill Chalice. Uh, Dead Winter just seem, I guess Dead Winter seems good, not amazing. Spreading Seas is great. I'm gonna cut two Nobles. I don't think we need the extra colors. Um, what was he cutting here? I think I like Force of Negation against them. Maybe Dead of Winter is not as... Eh, it still seems good. Being able to kill stuff is pretty important. Viper seems good. I guess the Fairy is not, like, great. Um, eh, kind of the Boil Druid. Try to make Chalice worse. Bet against Fanat. Bet against uh, Walking Ballista. I don't think we need the speed of it. Stony Silence. Eh, doesn't seem very good. Eh, I'm gonna cut a Druid. Maybe I'm wrong, but Damning Sphere is not very good against them. The tempo you lose in playing it is the tempo they gain from Eldrazi Temple, and like, if they have Tron, it's not the end of the world anyway. So. Okay. A little awkward on the mana base, but still pretty good. I like the spreading seeds a lot. Okay. Let's see how this ends up. Like, I don't have a problem beating them straight up, you know? Alright, they're gonna have a chalice here. It's fine. Alright, we'll just untap. We're probably getting an island off this, but let's just see what we draw. It's not bad. Alright, so we're locking us off, off white for the moment, but I think that's fine because all of our card draw here is blue. We get to screw with their mana, play Ice Fang Coddle, and screw with more of their mana, and so on and so forth. So, actually, I think it's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's your white. Cool. So we can Knight of Autumn the uh, the Chalice, free up our thing in the ice, or on thin ice. Sorry. So I'm playing against Karn. I don't know, kill them. Matter Shaper blows. Astrolab makes our. Night of Autumn even more important. So small, can't see. Just Merfolk, and you know. You know, you know your deck is good when you're taking a page of the Merfolk playbook, you know. That's when you know you're doing it right. Doing it and doing it and doing it right. So next time we get to Teferi and Astrolab. Ugh, waste. What a waste. They have Chalice again? Alright. No, Ballista? That's weird. Why Ballista on one? That's a very good trade for us. Just a straight two for one. They have... A Chalice also or something? Sure, that's fine. Um, so we're gonna want it to ferry. We used to ferry bounce chalice to get set up for uh, casting our one drops in all in one turn. Um, I don't really want to trade Ice Fang for Matter Shaper because Matter Shaper kind of sucks, but. We just like don't really have a good target for um oh thank you. This is a the Blood Brothers t shirt. Um hmm. we could like Raveler back the matter of shaper, but if they have like a, a reality smash, I think it's like really, really bad for us. What a weird what a weird game. Uh I guess we get to ferry. I 
more options are so medium. I have no idea what to do. I'm sorry, folks. I think I should say go. Yeah, one more mana we can actually do stuff, but... If we play Teferi and bounce Astrolab, then we're, then we're stuck with Thin, with thin Ice in our hand, so... Alright, Thought Nuts here is fine. We need to resolve our Ice Fang, it makes it hard for them to attack. We draw a Viper. Our mana is certainly awkward this game, I'm not gonna lie. Hook to ferry makes sense, and no blocks. So I'd love to draw a green land. Why do they keep stopping on our upkeep? That's a blue land. Ugh. That's true. Ghost Quarter is good against this card. That's very fair. Um, all right. I guess we are casting a Spreading Seas, looking for a green land. That's not bad. Okay. Um, I think we just crank it up here, whatever. It's obviously not ideal, but it, it means they'll never have time for the rest of the game. Which is fine. Just draw our cards. Ooh, that's a good draw, too. Worst case scenario they have is they have a way to kill my Ice Fang here, but... I think casting Spreading Seas is better than cheating. All right, so they don't, that's really good for us. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have a uh, smasher. So now I get to knight plus thin ice. The thought not seer probably. That's what they do. Okay. <laughs> they got a blast zone. That's not bad, honestly. That makes my on thin ice look pretty stupid. Okay. I mean, now we're just tree folking it. They have one card? Hmm. This, is, this is a weird game. Um, we could knight. Let me just tree folk, whatever. And I'll tap the probably the matter reshaper. Can't imagine they have that many ways to actually kill a tree folk, and I don't want that thing blocking. Spreading Seas is the Waste. Well, these are all also colorless lands, so these all cast Eldrazi as well. I mean, I suppose all this dust is a problem um, that we can't currently answer, and just jamming Tree Folk doesn't play around that. So that might be a mistake. I don't know. Maybe next turn we'll just, like, Knight the Chalice, play Astrolab on Thin Ice something and make them pop their zone. Attack for a million with the Tree Folk. Going to combat. That's bold. Alright, so they obviously have Dismember. Um, I think blocking with the Ice Fang is fine. Goal here is to play around all his dust if possible. 
That's the only card that really beats us, I think, from this scenario. It's fine by me. Misty Rainforest. Um, okay. So we can... We can't Knight and Viper, our mana's too bad. Um... If we on thin ice the thought not see here, it's like kinda weird because like it's like good and bad. We draw a card, but then if it dies, they get like, get one of our cards too. Don't think it's an exchange I want to make. Uh so we're gonna fetch. We're gonna get forest. Uh we're gonna pop their their thingy. And we want to leave. I want to leave it so if they have all his dust, I have a tree folk left over. That's pretty good too. I can't. Get, oh, they, they can't. Get, they can go score basic. Never mind. So this is going to hit their Mana Reshaper, because we're, again, we're playing around All is Dust, and the Blast Zone. We're going to fire in for 9 here, and we still have Backup Tree Folk, Backup Teferi, Backup Viper. I guess we're dead to a Smasher here. They have this dismember, it's also, I mean, it's fine, whatever. I don't think dismember changes anything. Right. I mean, if they're gonna double block, it's fine too. If we were at seven, then dismember matters, but we're at eight. Wow. Oh, duh, they're gonna dismember me. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm stupid. I I didn't I didn't account for the, the thing shrinking. I'm so dumb. I'm just an idiot. Alright. So that was really bad. Um So yeah, I I thought that I was I was not accounting for my two things dying as well with the dismember, so they have Smasher too. Alright, whatever. We play bad that game. We deserve to lose. Suddenly pandas, what's up? Um I'm not sure what else we could have. We could have like just not played around all this dust, just cast the second tree folk. That probably would have been better. Yeah, that's probably just better. In my mind, I was like playing around all this dust by like killing their blast zone, but like ever this what I what I did just didn't make sense. All right, um, we still want force and dead of winter. I think so. I kind of like to fairy honestly. This is that's fairy's pretty good. I mean, it's fairy better than tracker. I know it's blasphemy, but excuse me. I like force is less important on the on the play. So we can get ahead of Karn and ahead of Chalice. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna put the fairy back in. I just don't want force at all. Now we're playing slumber. Slumber seems great. I need to leave the one drops in. Nah, I'll only, only two forces in. I think this is fine. Boreal Druid is a snow creature. Noble Hierarch is not. Plays. Plays. They said snow. I gotta get the bread and milk.
This hand just got perfect. Perfect. Look at this curve. Spreading seas that have winter tree folk. I'm not gonna lie, you kinda love to see it. This is sure. I'm pretty sure we just see just use our two mana here instead of one. Oh, I guess I didn't play around Chalice by doing that, but whatever. We don't need this Astrolab. I have a Viper too. It's dope. Go ahead, Chalice me. Sure, whatever. Doesn't matter. F. Raid. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Um. <laughs> obviously. Why wouldn't we draw another, uh, another one drop? One of our, like, nine one drops after they play Chalice. Alright, so... I guess you want to be aware of them carning away our Astrolab and not being able to cast spells. So I think I'm just gonna get the swamp. Make it green. Put a viper. A viper. Viper seems great against them. Tree focus great against them. Tree focus past the uh, threshold for dismember. Plague Engineer over on Thin Ice. I mean, I don't think so. They have Mind Tower. They have Natural Tron. Look at these fools here with Natural Tron. Uh, Alright. On Thin Ice. Awkward. We really draw back-to-back -back one drops after they play Chalice. Um, I'm pretty sure we just Tree Folk here to get our Viper in. Six six, they can't dismember it. This is really annoying, by the way. I guess if they have two dismembers, they can kill the viper and then the tree folk. But if this thing hits, I'm feeling really good. Sweet. Um, there are now one, two, three, four, there are now five one drops remaining in our deck. We have, we have five of our ten one drops. I guess I can still dismember this and then ping it, but are you serious? They had natural Tron plus natural Tron again with spreading seas. This is one of those Eldrazi Tron games. Just one of those Eldrazi Tron games. Just perfect. Actual perfect. They have Natural Tron. They have four card Natural Tron. And they have a Chalice. And I draw all one drops after they play Chalice. Perfect. Just perfect. Unreal. Unreal. Um, I don't want a Dead of Winter to kill these Ballistas, and I might have to. Like, we're going to lose our Viper. God, this is so lame. What a lame game. All right. Just feel so bad that our entire hand is blank of four cards. I think they're blocking. Maybe they're not blocking. I don't know. Maybe I just attacked. Maybe that was maybe that was bad. Maybe I'm just playing awful. Maybe I'm just so rattled by this Eldrazi Tron deck that I was playing like garbage. It's very possible. If I attack with both. I guess they have no good blocks.
And if they block Ballista on the 1 3, I'm actually really happy. Yeah, that was terrible. I should have just attacked first. That was really stupid. Bad play, Jim. Bad play. Yeah, very bad play. All right. So we're drawing to three Teferis and two Knight of Autumns. We can unlock our hand. This thing's still pretty good, so we'll see what happens. But they obviously have Tron, so... Yeah, it's basically the same thing as Death Touch. You, like, were to give it a damage-dealing ability. Oh, yeah, there. Here's my hand. You happy? What are we drawing here? Yeah, good choice. Alright, so if they have a dismember, he probably can't win. Let's drop a big draw step here. Come on. It's not bad. I think I just have to attack and dismember. If they have it, they have it. That's good. I should have played this first, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Thanks for following everyone. Kind of all his dust. Oh, they have Bajukabog. Hmm, I see. Oh, well, our graveyard's gone. Goodbye, graveyard. It's been real. Why are we not playing out our hand? Hmm. I don't know. Why aren't we playing our hand? Three, four, five. And snaring bridge. That wasn't bad. I mean, now we can attack Karn and buy a turn because they can't lattice us. I guess they can't lattice us. I need like a land in their hand. They can lattice us. Yeah. This is frustrating. Okay. We should draw like a Teferi or something. Should win this game. That'd be sweet. So we're getting Lattice Lock next turn. Come on. All the pain. This is a lesson in life. Alright? The lesson is you suffer through so much. But if you persevere and play a little badly, but still stick around to finish the game, it may all work out work out for you. Suck on some eight eights, my friend.
Think you can natural double natural tron me? Huh? You think you can double natural tron me and have chalice and I draw four one drops in a row? You think you can do that to me? Here on my stream? This is my channel. Alright? These are my these are my these are my snowmen. Alright. What are we two one? This deck is sweet. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'm following the stream with that follow button, of course. Oh boy. Wow, so cringy. Mmm. Mm, so cringy. Mm. Look at me cringe. Alright, let's go. Uh I mean, we get the scry. Bonjour, mon ami. I don't know if we can keep this end. This just seems kind of mopey. Problem is our colors might not work out either, so we want, we want to get basic island. So, I'm just going to mulligan. Um, the sand is... <laughs> a little worse, a little better? It's still pretty bad, but... Let's keep... I kind of want to ship the uh, scrying sheets, even though our force negation is like literally blank right now. Could be fine. Extra land seems worthless. I just think that. They also mulligan to six. Stream! New sub, what's your name, where you from? Welcome, my friend. Bonjour, ça va? Alright, so... I guess we're just going to Temple Guard and look like a regular deck for a second. How does this deck go into Burn Phoenix and Boggles Infect? I have no idea. I built it last night and we've played a few matches, so I've not played against those decks yet. Um, oh, are we getting gacked again? Oh. Modern is just a, a world full of miserable decks. I'm trying to have a little fun here, you know? Double Blood Guest. No. Uh, I'm just trying to play Oran Viper. Leave me alone. Antoine from France, Jun player, love Tile Striker, best card ever printed. Tile Striker, a. Uh, how do you say best in French? Comment dit on best? Uh, et très magnifique. Scar, I was in I was in Spain for a month for a month for a week for the Pro Tour, and um, Nicole and I are trying to. Purchase a house or rent a house or something. I don't even know. It's been, it's been pretty busy. I had an announcement about that earlier in the stream. Uh, if you missed it, uh, it'll be up on YouTube. I'll be the long and short of it was though. I'll be streaming more and traveling less going forward. But the house stuff has to finish first, obviously. And a um, lot of lot of cool new stuff coming. A schedule is coming. So we look forward to that. And uh, why don't I move to Canada? Oh, Canada. Milieu. Yeah, I, I knew that. I took French for like a lot of years. It's all back there when you like when I was in I was in Paris for a, a pro tour. I don't know years ago, and like just walking around talking French to everyone. It all comes back, you know. But it's buried in there somewhere. And the problem is we're going to die to these blood guests. That's that's the problem. All right, I mean we have to thin ice the gag here. Australian? Yeah, I'm usually on during the day, which is which is your nighttime, so typically I'm more of a daytime streamer, but there'll be a schedule coming up. I'm going to try and mix up, mix up the uh, schedule a little bit as far as when I'm on, so. Ska. Scarding Gravecrawler, Dark Blast. Alright. Unfortunately, Dark Blast, Dark Blast actually plays really well against my Oren Viper, <laughs> but um, I'll, play, I'll, play, I'll play all the formats. I would say it's probably like 60% Arena, 40% Magic Online, with that being like 30% Modern. Maybe, th maybe, th maybe 35%, honestly. Give me that Tree Folk. And 
That is not a tree folk. That is a Teferi Time Raveler. Mm. This game has been the worst so far. Two, four, six, seven. Oh my god. Gain some life, play a repulse. Bounce on thin ice for a second gag. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have the luxury of sitting around here. We're just dead on board in two turns, so. Bore fill. More like boreal druid. Yeah, they want to. They hit another hogak. God. Want to hear a joke? All right, what are we drawing to here? Probably not much. They left the dark blast in the graveyard. That's bad. All right. Uh, how about? That's a start. That's definitely a start. If we're going to make something happen, it starts here. So, God, Tree Folk is so good. This card's been so great for us. Terra, I completely disagree with you. I think things are a little Planeswalker heavy at the moment, but they do not take the skill out of the game at all. I think they add a completely... Completely extra element to, uh, it's weird, to every game and make things far more complicated. I have a lightning axe? Oh, no. <laughs> no. All right. I don't even view playing its Hogak as, like, playing modern. It's just not going to be legal in, like, a few weeks anyway. So it's just, like... All right, whatever. We're playing against Hogak. Who cares? All right, Rest in Peace is in. Uh, Dead of Winter, nope. Uh, Plague Engineer is in. Um, are we cutting? Spreading Seas is bad. Force Negation seems bad. What did I bring in last time? Dead of Winter seems fine. Teferi does not seem very fine. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Oh, excuse me. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. I think that Planeswalkers are very, very hard to balance properly, and that Wizards has erred a little too hard on the side of too powerful versus not powerful enough. And that's often why you have annoying planeswalkers like Teferi or Gideon Ally as Endicar, uh, things like that. So, I guess Spreading Sea on the play is actually pretty good. I mean, I want these over like a Dead of Winter and a Slumber seems slow, I guess. I think they're getting better with their Planeswalker design, though. I think Plan Planeswalkers like Soren, the new Soren is really cool. Even the, the previous Soren was good, too. They just need to make Planeswalkers that are not universally good at all times. Um, you know, a card like Soren, the Black White Soren from War of the Spark, it's only really good if you're playing creatures in your deck. You know, it's good then, but it's you need to have some sort of cabot. It can't just be like always good. Like, we're just playing Teferi in our deck because it's sweet. God damn it. That's, that's a good end. This end's actually great. Um, Melvin. What do we ship here? I guess it's probably like Ice Fang. I want three lands, I want Rest in Peace, and I want On Thin Ice. Hmm. 
Even new Chandra's are cool too. Um, like the three mana Chandra has a lot of cool things going on. I think that they're, they're starting to learn that Planeswalkers of the 5 mana plus the draw card minus the kill something ultimate to win the game variety are just very boring for gameplay. Teferi here of Dominaria, a multitude of Jaces, Vivian, Obnixilis, just not good magic. Okay. Drawing a land kind of sucks because we would prefer to have a, you know, a, a spell we bottomed, but Recipes is obviously great here, so... New Sarkin's really cool. That's a cool one. Five Mana Nissa is very good, but I, I still like the idea of it. It's not good in every deck. I mean, like it's just in a format with, with Hydroid Crisis also, which is kind of awkward, but... Hmm. The old 1-1 one, one Wayfinder, eh? Missed a land, too. You hate to see it. JK, love to see it. Stupid Hogak player. Stupid Gacker. Give me that Viper. Alright, what's up? Get the old R.I.P. Fatal Push? That's rude. Another whiff? Another whiff, you love to see it. Oh yeah, the one one for one doesn't or two doesn't even do anything. You love it. Alright, oh uh, ice fang here. Just main phase it, see what we can draw. We are not gonna lose to one ones this game, don't worry. Alright? You shouldn't be worried. Oh god. This means Jim streams when I get home from work. Uh, D. Two month resale. Welcome back, my friend. Now we're on the draw. Spreading C seems a lot worse. Um, is it weird that I think the Merit Legion Slumber is actually not bad against them? If we can get into a little bit of a board stall, they don't really kill our stuff, and they can't beat the 2020. Jay Wilson, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Hmm. I think I definitely don't want Spreading Seas. Uh, I want Dead of Winter. To fairy and one slumber. Let's do it. <sighs> Raise your hand in chat if you can't wait for Hogak to get banned. Oh, got a mulligan in my hand. No rest in peace. Pawn and mulligans also. That's good at least. Alright, gotta keep my hand. I have rest in peace. And we're going to ship off the, uh, probably the Swamp. No, they should not ban looting or stirrings. That's incorrect. I wrote an article about it. Feel free to read it. New stuff is Josh from Daytona Beach. Favorite card, Goblin Pile Driver. Favorite deck was Goblins during Onslaught Block. Love it. Point them all against the four. Alright, Faithless Looting, four card hand, and we rest in peace. Once they turn to Gakas here, I'm feeling pretty good. Looting is not OP. The cards that are free that looting enables are OP. Ban Manamorphos, ban Hogak. Possibly ban Creeping Shield. Boom. Format's fixed. Yes, with, with Ho if Hogag is banned and 
then Dredge, so it's still really, really good. I think Creeping Chill is the egregious part of Dredge. I think without Creeping Chill, Dredge is a fine, reasonably fair deck. I think Creeping Chill takes it puts Dredge past a, le a level of interactivity that's really annoying. Ban Creeping Chill, ban Metamorphose, ban Hogak. Sorry, Storm players. Phoenix is too good. Take the enabler away. The broken free enabler. Not the fun enabler that allows 15 different decks to exist. I don't think Opal needs to be gotten rid of. Alright, so they have a trophy here. It's fine. I think we're far along enough where we can beat their two-card hand if all they have is a trophy. You don't got to ban everything. You just ban the cards that are egregious. Um, I mean, I guess I want Swamp. I don't have black yet. Do not unban Deathrite Shaman. Do not, do not unban Splinter Twin. I'd be okay with Stoneforge Mystic. I'm fine with that. There's so much artifact hate that Opal is probably okay. I think it's on the watch list for sure, but I would not ban it right now. The cost for playing Opal is high, is high enough. Alright, you've, you've murdered my snake. You have a 2-1 and no cards in hand. Love it. I feel good. Green Sun Zenith would be okay if they banned Dryad Arbor. I think that the the reason why Green Sun Zenith and Stoneforge Mystic are banned is because they create too much uniformity among fair decks. Every deck just plays them. Um, and the tutor ability of Green Sun Zenith plus the fact it's also a Lana Rolf is just too good, I think. Same problem with Deathrite Shaman. It's just too ubiquitous. Uh, all right. Let's start here. Is Lavina a good counter to Hogak? No. Hogak's already in play. It's also just a bear. It's not very good. A very good card. All right. Suck it, Hogak. Um, the problem with Grove Punishing Fire is that it's too good against what it's good against, and too awful against what it's not good against. The format is already pretty broken, so Punishing Fire and Grow the Burn Willows is really good against fair decks, really bad against unfair decks, so all you're doing is widening the gap. You're making it so you're adding this very volatile element to the format where it's either really, really, really good, your deck can't beat it, or it's just unplayable, and that's just not a, not a good element to have, I don't think. I don't think that Punishing Fire adds to the format at all. I also think that JIT is completely reasonable. I don't know why JIT is still banned. That, that card's ridiculous. Like, if you add Grove of the Burn Willows Punishing Fire to the format, you're just making the Jun deck even better against the other creature decks and the other fair decks. You know? What? Opponent? What? Why would you do that? While we're waiting for an opponent, I want to remind everyone to hop on Twitter and give me a follow. At Jim Davis MTG. That's right. Give me a follow. We do giveaways sometimes and we do announcements like this. Remember, I made an announcement. I am uh, traveling less and streaming more going forward. And I did a uh, 15 minute. Uh, talk about that earlier of a stream. If you missed it, it'll be on YouTube. I'll tweet about it. All right, Captain Jean Luc Picard, and uh, but yeah, follow me on Twitter at Davis MTG. Here I am, deckless and stream updates and cool stuff. Oh look, it's me, John and Nicole. Yay! Jit's just not good. Like Lightning Bolt and Path to Exile are legal. And Jit's not even good against half the decks in the format anyway. This hand is really bad. 
<laughs> I think it's our hand of the week. Wait, what? Not real Mulligan. Like, pay two mana for Jit. Pay two mana to equip. They bolt my creature. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to ship one of these Vistas. Try and turbo out, uh, turbo out this Merit Lages, or Lages Slumber. If they're blue-eyed control, not going to be very good, but Scrying Hitch should be pretty good, so we'll see. Alright, blue-eyed control. I don't know if it's going to be good for us or not. It seems kind of hard. Like, Teferi's really good, but... Uh, I'm jamming here, so... Because I don't think Mary Lee just slumber is very good against them anyway, because they have four path, so... I also have to fairies, too, so... Let's get our scry on here. I don't think spreading seas is very good. Alright. Nice Merit Lee just slumber. Wow. That's weird. I mean, it pokes to fairy pretty well. I'm pretty cool with that, I think. Uh, let's Astrolab. I'm gonna fetch a. Uh, we, we have Astrolabs, it doesn't matter what colors we have. Viper's not bad. Alright, we'll get a Plains. Ice Fang's pretty good here. Just gets to poke away at Planeswalkers and stuff. Uh, we are 3 and 1. We lost to Hogak. That's really, really good against us. Uh, we have a number of cantrip effects. That's really bad. Alright. Uh, oh, boy. They had a path my Ice Fang? No? Okay. I guess they don't know how good it is against us. Alright, let's uh, give them the old A-bomb. They have a Wrath. I mean, whatever. We can't really... I don't think we can really afford to sit here and do nothing. So... Yeah, this is getting kind of ugly. Uh, so we're attacking Jace. They have five cards in hand. Good lord. And they can bounce it to Fairy against it. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty bummed. This, this, is, this matchup seems pretty hard. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like, we have our own Teferis and stuff, but a lot of our cards don't really matter that much. We don't answer Planeswalkers very well, which is kind of a problem. We need Elder Spell. We can cast it. Field of Ruin. Detention Sphere. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll attack Jace and see what happens. Alright. Not good. Not good at all. I'm an idiot. It's fucking Narsen and Blay. I guess I had I can't cast it on their turn anyway. I just need to cast things. That blows. I 
None of my cards do anything. Planeswalkers are fun. All right, you win. All right, you get it. You're you're good. You win. Uh, I say good evening in French, or good night. Bon, bon hiver. Bon hiver. All right. Um, that kind of sucked. We don't have a good sideboard for control, honestly. Our sideboard kind of blows for control, actually. Uh, I mean, we don't want our our Dead of Winters or our Thin Ices. Our Spreading Seas are pretty bad. Our Mana Creatures are pretty bad. I guess Plague Engineer is, like, better than a, a Lana Elf or whatever. Um, our, our Slumbers aren't good. This is just bad. It sucks is, like, we have to waste so many sideboard slots on Hogak that, like, you know. We have a Negate. I think Dovin's Veto is uncastable in this deck. We have too many forests, scrying sheets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I mean, you can cut like one mana creature, I guess. It's just the worst card. Is it worse than spread? I mean, spread is pretty bad too. Right, let's do this. Not great. Not not great. Not a great looking matchup. Like, we're boarding in Plague Engineer, you know? It's not not too cool. We have to name Wizard, I suppose. What would you want for this matchup? I don't know. More Planeswalkers, I guess. God was on 2-3, but it was a pretty soft 2-3. We lost to Bogles. We lost to Mono Red Phoenix in Nut Draws. And I, I punted against Tron. Eh, we're keeping. Safari's obviously really good. I screwed up. I should have played Scrying Sheets. I guess it's fine. Yeah, that, that was bad. Okay. I mean, I guess I... Yeah. Let's try to draw any land here, basically. Alright, that plays. Lumba. Hmm. I think we want it. So, we'll see what they do. We might just Viper next turn. Yeah, I don't want to get... Yeah, we're not going to get our Teferi countered. I think I want that. Viper's a must answer card. And if they um they, if they Teferi bounce we get to slam our own Teferi, which is pretty good. That plays too. Wow. That's wild. This card feels almost worthless, and the, the Viper's gonna draw me extra cards. That's pretty crazy. All right, sure. It's a weird one. That's a weird one, Charlie Brown. All right. Um, I'm just gonna lab into Fairy. Probably minus on one of the labs. So you guarantee some value. Feeling pretty good about this game. Ooh, more Teferis? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Sure. It's certainly annoying, but... 
cryptic command. Yeah, it's a, it's a modern card. That's not bad either. Okay. Um, if we just let's see, we're gonna attack the we're gonna attack Narset, I think. And then then what do we do? Do we slam a big bad tree folk? And if they have a supreme verdict, just suck it up. I think so. Can't draw extra cards. Tree folk's pretty big. Yeah. Like if they have a rat like they have they only have like two or three wrath usually, if that. And they have to wrath here. It's really not that bad for us. It has to be verdict too, so you have force negation. God damn it. Hi. I should have I have a track I have one tracker in my deck. Eh. Narset really is like one of the most obnoxious cards. There you go. Name Wizard. Fetching, okay. So they have Cryptic Command in their hand, they can't use it to get to Fairy. Snapcaster Verdict. Do I still play at my local stores? No. I play Magic, you know, 40 hours a week on stream and stuff. I very rarely play Magic locally. All right. Scrying sheets it is. What's the point in bouncing sphere? We can just cast it again. We gotta save this uh, force negation for things for good things to counter. Whoa, that's aggressive. I did not see that coming. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I guess I'm a moron. All right, it's not the end of the world. We should play needs fairy, but that blows. Couldn't have, couldn't have stopped it, so... Mm, the old A-bomb? I don't hate an A-bomb. Oh, obviously, I'm, I'm taking it, obviously. Uh, okay. It's not bad. I mean... I guess I could just have, like, negate here or something. Stupid Narset turns off so much of our stuff. <sighs> Opt in response. All right. We're gonna tree folk. What do you wanna bounce? Why do you wanna bounce stuff? What's there to bounce? God, you're all crazy. Crazy people. Yeah, maybe we should, should love, love the spreading. The, I bored out spreading seeds, didn't I? That was, that was really stupid. I did. No, I didn't. Never mind. I bored out one spreading seeds. That was dumb. I mean, just bad against Narset and stuff, but.
It's not that they have to waste their entire turn attacking the fairy twice in a row. Ooh. Here in a Narset. That's pretty cool. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. Teferi Time Raveler. Completely invalidating my hand, because that's all these cards do, is invalidate people's hands. Um, what's well, Blows? Now they get to go land Cryptic. I mean, land Jace. And I'm, I'm doing it. I don't think we have a choice. It just turns them off anyway. It bounced my tree folk, and we're stuck in the... Stuck in the Teferi Abyss. Really sucks. Yep. We just get to do stuff now. Like, we can play our Astrolab and draw a card. Knight of Autumn? That's kind of dope. Alright, let's start here. <laughs> so we draw Merit Legion Slumber. Perfect. Uh, I think we still want a Knight of Autumn just to uh, put the pressure on the board, too. I've already cast a, cast a Wrath. I don't want to minus to Fairy because then we lose it. But I guess if we minus to Fairy but also make them Wrath, they can't Colonnade and Wrath in the same turn. Which is kind of fine. Um, I should have maybe Knighted first because I would have gotten the Scry out of it. That might have been dumb. Top card is Astrolab. Still want to cast Tree Folk also. I guess I'm not gonna. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I should sack the Vista. It doesn't actually matter. So I'm gonna sack Vista and Scry anyway. All right, doesn't matter. So it's um. Are we casting my Tree Folk? Yeah, I think so. Black. I don't think black matters at all. Yeah, I'll take that. That actually... God, now I want to draw a card. That sucks. I should, know, I should have plus the fairy. That's so bad. Ah, sloppy. All right. If I had known that was there, I would have I would have um, minus the fairy to draw it. That was that's bad. I, I there was no reason to plus my the fairy. I was trying to play quickly. All right. I mean, please don't uh, please don't punish me. They got to deal with these two things. I am making a a twenty twenty. They can just bounce it, obviously, but. Also, if I minus, they can just attack it with Kalanod and kill it. So there's definitely a pretty serious cost there. Monastery Mentor? That's a pretty huge tilt. I guess I know that they have that. So maybe I should just, like, leave in the Dead of Nights. I guess I can kill Jace, right? I can bounce the Mentor and then Tree Folk the token, attack Jace. I have to have a a path and I can counter it if I really want to. This does mean I can colonnade my Teferi, but I think this is probably what we want to do. 
Veil of Summer's a card. Ooh, Tracker's a card, too. Veil of Summer's definitely a card. That could be a card uh, on the radar. What I do? Oh. God, I'm tapping lands on Magic Online is just the literal worst experience you can ever have in your entire life. No, bouncing into the mentor is better, I think. It makes it forces them to replay it. We never do hyperbole in the stream, I'm just talking about. Maybe I should have. I've played this game pretty sloppy. I'm just kind of trying to play fast. I, I should have played this before I even drew it to Fairy and Scryed. Like, I'm gonna pitch the negation anyway, so I, I just, I'm just sloppy. Bottom. We're not in terrible shape. I mean, they have Mentor and three other cards. They have no Planeswalkers in play. We have the board currently, but like one bad thing so that'll screws things up. We do have Force Negation. They have Wrath again? No? Alright. Big Colonnade attack. So this takes out my Teferi, which kind of sucks, but they're lighter on resources now. Hope things are gradually getting less stressful. Thanks, Mage. I appreciate it. We are making a 2020 next turn. It's always that. Alright, can't counter that. Alright, I mean... They have two cards left, and we're on top of the counter spell, so... This is Arena, that animation would have been so cool. That's not bad either, honestly. Alright, um... Yeah, let's, uh... We have three and three, we have double counter spell up. Play of Slumber. I guess that was dumb, so we're gonna make a... We're gonna make another token. <laughs> That's fine, they mana leaked it? Sure. They're just gonna make a token here? That's fine. Um... They only have one card, and they have to answer 2020, and we have Two counter spells in our hand. This is fine. This resolves. Attack with the ten ten trample. Why do we gotta pitch it? We just cast we just cast these. You're up. Ooh. Just indiscriminate tentacles and shadows. We got two hard to cast negates. Not even cancel, negate. Astral Labs, folks. Come on. You have Astral Lives in play, you have perfect mana. This thing's also indestructible, so you can't wrath it. It's kind of cool. They can chump block it with Colonnade for a while, but... Okay. I'm going to activate one of these and go shields down a little bit. Just one, though. Pathing the tree folk. Why the tree folk? I guess it, that's the card that actually kills them. Maybe I, maybe I'm too. I, that might have been really stupid.
I'm gonna be punished here. I played this game so badly. Oh my god, I played this game so bad. Just so bad. There's no reason to scry there. Just lets them have two spells. Just, just really, really dumb. Hi everyone, how's it going? Now they can definitely just draw a chain of spells and kill me. Yeah, really bad. I mean, they are locked into tapping five five mana a turn and losing a land. They're in the abyss, so it's not too bad, I guess. I think Clue is better than Scrying Sheets. Strong at Fetch Land is actively good. Boreal Druid, less good, but... Sure. The big folk. That's a good one. That is a good one. In the Merit Liege Abyss. You son of a bitch. I'm doing it. We kill him next turn. How big is this thing? It's an 11 11. They have one more chump on Colonnade. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We're all in. Wrath um, doesn't matter if we have the token. And if they can answer a token, then the trampler might get them. So, whew. All right. Did not play very well that game, but scoreboard. Scoreboard. Whew. Going into a big game three here with our super cool snow deck. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Um, we definitely want to add Wonder back in the deck. That was very foolish to cut it, I think. I want Spreading Seas too. I think I want like this in. So what do I not want in? I think we can go down on like two mana creatures. And then... Honestly, Plague Engine. I guess Engineer actually... Hold on. Engineer actually kills the monks. Time out. Maybe we don't need Dead of Winter. Because Engineer does, a, does the job for us, kind of. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. In which case... Uh, what do we cut? I guess we got one Boreal Druid. This is match five. Match five, game three, this is the end. Cut a land? Yeah, I considered cutting a land, but I think cutting the mana creature better. Now we're going here. Clocks are low. Okay, we can keep this. Probably need to get a hollow fountain off this, which is a little, a little awkward, but 
Gotta cast our spells, right? Oh boy, now we can't get a hollow fountain. Because we want to get a swamp. That's eh, fine. I think it's still hollow fountain. Just get double forest. Do I get temple garden and get island? Is that better? I think that is better. Snake tribal. That is hilarious how Plague Engineer is actually really good against us. I hate Plague Engineer. I hate it. Temple Garden Island. Suffocated. What's up? Right on time. Of. I think Plague Engineer is a pretty shitty, lazy design. Okay. Pokia. It's a lot of uh, a lot of snakes here. Is Grave Shifter a bad design? I mean, why would, would, I don't know. All right, well, you're, we're coming in here. I hope you got airbags. No? Should I let the Viper hit them? Awesome. What are they doing? Didn't draw land. Well, I guess we're gonna post combat Noble Hierarch. Just lame, but whatever. Leave up our Ice Fang. Alright, here it is. You got me, it's a fairy time raveler. Bounce my Viper? Sure. Um... You probably just cast the Viper. It obviously sucks that they have a Wrath, but... Playing Slumber and nothing else doesn't seem reasonable. I want to hold Spreading Seas for Colonnade, I think. I don't want to cast Tree Folk and get Wrathed also. Maybe we just Slumber, actually. I'm sorry, I have five mana. I'm an idiot. Um... Hmm... I guess if we get Wrathed, let me just cast a damn Slumber. I have to have like, a two, like an actual two mana counter spell, which is not super likely. It's also tapping bad. Hmm. Gotta fetch anyway. Top card, Tower Striker, the bomb. That is a really good post wrath follow up. Oh, I could have played a land player, Mana Lake, sure. That's fair. Chase, the Mind Sculptor. All right. Oh no, my Tyler's tracker. God, what a jerk. Biggest jerk of all time. What a jerk. Alright, um That is pretty tough. We need to like pressure this Jace, but also like not walk into Wrath. 
that's pretty difficult. I think I just draw a card. Attack Jace, attack Jace, attack them. Okay. I might need to just cast this tree folk. I I, guess I tapped that wrong. Uh, I stacked it wrong. Two, it's nine. We're certainly like flooded with cards here, so it's not like we're like like obviously a wrath is really bad for us, but it could be worse. Where to play the land? Yeah, and brainstorm. Yeah, it's really bad. <sighs> All right, keep battling. We just like can't beat a planeswalker if it's in play. That's kind of a problem. Uh, tree folk. It has to be double viper. I should fetch first. It's fine. Yeah, we just like can't remove a planeswalker. Just like a real problem. It sucks they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't. They 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 fate alert our tire striker away. I really wanted that tire striker. All right, so. Let's scry. Bottom. I guess we're just like Knight of Autumn. I guess we could also just Plague Engineer. Just bounce the Tree Folk, but... Let's play Tree Folk. Seven cards in their hand. I think we're naming Wizard. I think the Snapcaster block is worse than Monks right now. Don't think they have Monks. Why not Human? I guess Human's better, sure. We have four minutes left, I'm trying to go fast. No, it's a one-sided card. So, <laughs> Super Dude, it's pretty funny. Super Dude says, "I always feel bad for the Snapcaster Mage that targets a Wrath." Snapcaster says, "Uh, boss, are you sure you want me to give that spell flashback?" It's pretty funny. It'd be a good little like magic cartoon. All right, yeah. It's Scry. Bottom. Yeah, life was a lot easier when we had to ferry and play, you know? It's 
not bad. Four, three, creature. I'm going to counter back here. We need to get on the board. This is a two for one. It sucks, but... Force, pitching force. I mean, I'll take that exchange all day, I think. Maybe not. It's just so many cards in their hand, but... That's just so miserable. Cryptic command? Great. And they topped our card, too. Awesome. That's 10 permanents. Bottom. Boreal Druid. Two. Ice Fang? Sweet. That's actually insane. We get to f get that with Scrying Kids and flash it in on their turn. That's kind of cool. We should time out, though, which really sucks. It takes a long time to activate Scrying Sheets and cast spells with Snow Mana. I mean, I guess I'm an idiot. I don't know. Like, it felt like Snapcaster at the time was more was more damning. Yeah, I get it. Snow mana. Use the damn mana. The mana system for snow is just like very very frustrating. It just takes so long to go over here and click the actual thing and click it again and click it again and click it again. Oh, I stacked it wrong. That's very good. That card's not good. All right, here's my uh, my big boom boom. Yeah. All right, we're just dead. This matter seems pretty hard. Uh, we just like, don't have a good plan at all. We're super reliant on our creatures. None of our cards matter. We can't remove. We can't remove planeswalkers. So that would need to be addressed for sure. Um, deck's pretty sweet though. Went three two. Uh, we lost to Hogak and we lost to Blue Eye Control. And Blue Eye Control blows anyway. So and Hogak's getting banned. So, but overall, this deck was super sweet. Um. Like, Ice Fang Coddle's great. The Tree Folk's surprisingly good. The Fairy's great. Fast Mana's great. Astrolab's great. This card's pretty good, too. We can reset the Engineer. It doesn't matter. They just have nine cards in their hand, and they have two Planeswalkers. It just doesn't matter. We have two minutes left. We're going to time out. It's not worth it. So, um, we beat a Hogak deck. We beat... I don't remember, honestly. I've been streaming for nine hours, eight hours, I don't remember. Um, you watch the video, watch the VOD, don't find out. <laughs> but, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching so much, I appreciate it. Check out, um, of course, check out uh, all uh, all my articles and stuff. Check out coolstuffinc.com, check out BCW Supplies. You got reanimator video, goblin sideboard guide, goblin article, it's all on there. Check it out, coolstuffinc.com. Follow me on Twitter. Follow everything. Follow the YouTube, etc. I got a headache. I'm done. I love you all.
I may stream tomorrow. Um, I think I probably will. But we have a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes too. So love you all. See you guys soon. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to host somebody cool. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys soon. All new subs, check out the Discord. All right? Private Discord chat server for subs only. And I'll see you guys soon. Love you all.